To create an article directory submission task in Rank Crew, it's very easy. Start off with some related keywords under keywords here. As you can see, we have three different keywords here. You can add two to four, five, six different related keywords. Um, there's no specific number. These are not incredibly important for SEO purposes, uh, but they are required by most article directories for internal use to categorize their content, etc., uh, for tags, etc. So, not incredibly important, but it is required. Just add some related keywords. But we also look at these keywords. If you do not provide an article for us to submit, we go to Article Builder. And Article Builder only tailors to a specific number of niches. Now, it is a lot, it's over 100, but there are some niches that are not covered. So, you do want to go there, look below the video, and there's a list of categories categories that Article Builder tailors to. Make sure that your topic, which is defined by these keywords, is covered by Article Builder. If it's not and you do not provide an article, we will not be able to complete the submission, so make sure it is. Okay, next you want to add your article title. Now, this is not a place to put your exact keywords unless you want the title of the articles to be your exact keywords um, which probably isn't going to be a good idea in many cases um, you could add your exact keyword in there if you wanted to um, along with some other text but I'll give a couple good uh, examples here uh, using the tool that we've just added right here now you can use full nested spending you can manually add spin tax into any of these fields but if you use this little button right here and use this little tool it will do that for you so let's add a few titles here I'm gonna pause it while I create a few okay as you can see I've added four different titles here for the article and I've specified the percentage I'm going to click OK and I could have used any percentage I wanted you can do 10 percent you, you know you can have one used 10 percent of the time you can have another one used 30 percent of the time it's all up to you so what this does is it adds those it, it does the math for you it figures out the percentage for you so in some cases it might repeat the same title multiple times within the spin tax you don't need to completely understand that all you need to know is that if you say that you want this title used this percent of the time then that's what's going to happen our our link builders are going to see that spin tax they're going to go through them one by one and we and by using this tool in the back end it's added them in the correct order and the correct number of times they need to appear in order for that to happen okay so you don't have to use spin tax you can just enter a title we could we'll just use that one title but we do recommend um, using more than one title and rotating through them and you can do that with that tool and the same thing for the article body you can use this tool um, to mix it up to use different spin tax or you can manually enter your spin tax so you can have some words like uh, this article and then you can add some spin tax is the best is very on the topic of For example, so in, in this case, this article is the best on the topic of backlinks, and that would get mixed up a little bit um, for the different variations. So our link builders would then take this, put it into a spin tax tool that will render the spin tax, and come up with various different variations of that spin tax. Obviously, this isn't a complete article. It's just a small example, um, but that's how you would use that. Or if you want to use... Uh, content from Article Builder, we can pull that for you to where you don't have to provide it. Um, but again, make sure that it is under a category that Article Builder has content on. So go to articlebuilder.net, go under the video, you'll see a list of the categories that are tailored to with Article Builder, and make sure that it is included here in the keywords so we know what to pull. And then the resource box. This is the most important part of the task because this is where your backlinks uh, will appear. Um, we also recommend that you spin this, that you use different spin tacks um, in the same way that I showed you for the article. And make sure you add the HTML um, for the link. So I'll pause this and show a good example. So this is a good example of a signature that varies the text so the text isn't the same on every article directory but uses the same link and it is always good to use straight links mixed in with
um, links using anchor text for your brand. For example, for us, it would be just Rank Crew. Also, obscure like Click Here, Original Source, etc. Um, and then, of course, uh, you know, a small percentage of the time these days, use your exact keyword that you want to rank for as well. Just make sure that's a small percentage. Um, back for years and years, you could use your primary keyword um, almost 100% of the time and rank very well. Now you can't do that. You want to make sure it's a small percentage. You also want to make sure you get um, straight links just like this mixed in there along with some uh, brand links using anchor text for your brand in the link, <clears throat> etc. Um, so that's a good example using a straight link. I'll pause it and give you a quick example um, using some other anchor text. So here's an example of using HTML and you want to make sure you include the HTML in the resource box because what our workers are going to do is copy the entire box, put it into a spin tax software that will render the spin tax into different versions and they're going to copy those different versions and use those uh, in the articles. So make sure you get that um, HTML in there. Um, and as you can see here, I'll just read it at Rank Crew. We build, <coughs> excuse me, and I'll just select one of the different versions of the uh, spin tax. At Rank Crew, we build quality manual backlinks for our customers so they don't have to go to rankcrew.com to get started. Uh, I don't recommend any more than two links. A lot of times I'll use one link with anchor text and then one straight. URL for article directories just like I've done here. Um, you can do it however you want. That's just our recommendation. So that's it for article directory submission.